All right, so I'm Robbie here, and I wanna show you kind of how the threader works before we do anything. And then I'll show you how to get in here and look at it. It's really pretty simple. This is a Lyric, which is very similar to that Soprano that we were talking about, which has a very similar threader to what uh, uh, the Symphony has. So uh, you're gonna thread it. You start at one, and you come around this little metal nose here, you come down to two, and you're going to want to make sure that your foot is up. And that opens up our tension disc and our little window here to thread up top, come around, down. We come through this uh, little clip here. Then we come up to seven, and then you cut it, and then you just push down, and that's how it should work. So yours is not going down at all from the sounds of it. So the way that we fix that is really pretty simple. First thing I would do is turn the machine off. Then I like to take the needle out and I'm gonna take my, my thread off the machine here. And on the back is a screw. This model has two screws on the side, but we're just gonna take them off and I'll show you what lies in here. So if your little lever here isn't going down, pull it off, it rides on this rod in here, and I've seen this rod get pushed out a little bit, so you can loosen, if the rods, see with it off if this goes up and down, if it does, then this isn't the problem. But if this part here doesn't even move, what I would do is loosen this screw here and you can pull this rod a little bit and see if you can't get it to move. Usually once it moves a little bit, uh, you can put it back in, tighten it up and it should start moving again. Um, it just needs to be straight. So if this piece somehow got bent in chipping or something like that, um, I can send you a new, a new internal rod, but that's basically what controls this part. So if, assuming now that this is moving just fine. Then we're gonna come over here, and if we look at the front of the machine, on the side, you're gonna see this little rod here, and this is actually the mechanism that that threader, that bar part, pushes on and makes it work. So make sure that this is moving. Um, if it isn't, I would just push it down and see if you can't get it to start working. Um, and then, uh, if this is moving down, then now we can uh, look at this threader part. And this was the part that, that fell off. So I'm going to show you how to get that right. So I like to tip it on its back so I'm not fighting gravity. And all I do is I just pull down and I just give it a nice little pull and it pops off. So on this piece, and this is where I think it's really confusing to do in drawings. So if I open this up, you have your one piece, and I think these were the two pieces that were stuck together. So you have this. This piece has a little knob on one side. That knob has to go into this piece, and then this rod goes into this hole right here. Boom. And then to put it together, if I flip it up right here, you can see that they've got like a little hole with a, a slot in it, and there's a hole with a little slot in it on this side. So it's important that when we put it together, you push this gray piece that way to make kind of like, I don't know what you call that, a little, a little mountain in the middle, and then you just push her together. So you put that little mountain and then you just push her together. And then you visually try to line up where that little notch is. And then we come right over to the machine, holding that spot in place. And you line them up. Oops, line them up. And then push her on. 
push her on. And then it's on. And then in the back, this is the little groove I was talking about. There's a little groove and a lot of times when you put it on, it's not in this groove right here. So right now you can see, if I pull her down, how it's riding in that groove. That's the groove. And you said you can assure me it's in the groove. So I believe you. So that's how that part there comes together. If it's not going down at all, I think it's going to be something with this or with this rod here. And I'm thinking it's probably going to be something here will be a, a simple fix. So um, watch the video. Take a look at your um, machine and let me know if this helps you. If I need to send you any parts, I will gladly do that. And I'm happy to walk you through how to, how to get this working and you're going to love that machine. So we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.